What's up, guys? It's uh, your girl Jessie. Intern number two. Joey's number one. It's just how it is. Um, we've been going through Psalms this week, um, just as a different kind of encouragement. Um, obviously, the Bible is filled with uh, truth and encouragement. Um, yeah, just things that you can cling to. Um, but there's something different about Psalms that um, were just written by David in times of um, not always easy things. Um, they're very, they vary in um, how he approaches what he's talking about, whether that's um, yeah, just speaking truth about what, who God is or um, really struggling and needing to cling on to him as our refuge and our stronghold. Um, so yeah, I have appreciated even just this week, there's a lot of Psalms that I like and some of them have already been done. Um, but it just forced me to like look through and kind of remember some ones that I haven't read in a while or, I, um, you know, you can, there are a couple that you kind of run to regularly. And so, yeah, I found one that's, um, much further back. It's Psalm 131. Um, so it's near the end. Um, and it gave me a good perspective for what's going on right now, um, reading it. So, yeah, so it's Psalm 131. Um, the title is, I have calmed and quieted my soul. Um, so let's read it real quick. Oh Lord, my heart is not lifted up. My eyes are not raised too high. I do not occupy myself with things too great and too marvelous for me, but I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with its mother, like a weaned child is my soul within me. O Israel, hope in the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Now, super short, um, but that was, when I read it, it was very, very impactful. Um, the things that like stuck out to me were um, he's talking about um, with his eyes not being raised too high, and particularly he said, "I don't occupy, I do not occupy myself with things too great and too marvelous for me." Um, and again, with the title saying like I've quieted my soul, I just began to think about how quick we can all get really overwhelmed, um, and. Right now, like, we're super tired of what's going on right now. The stay-at-home order, like, everything that's just happening right now, um, it's just kind of getting old, and I know that's, like, kind of wearing on us. And so all we really, like, have left is to look towards, well, I hope that I can still play this sport in the summer, or I still hope that I can go to this summer vacation um, or certain trip. And just right now, like, we're so focused on... Um, couple months out and things that we're just kind of like holding on to desperately kind of um and we're just wanting you know that comfort to know that those things will still be happening and they're not going to be taken away from us um but with all of that being so uncertain and there's so much unknown um I feel like if we're really consumed by that we're going to miss what's like right here in front of us and not just the circumstances, because, again, th where we're at has been kind of pretty normal for the last three, four weeks. Um, but what I mean by that is, like, God has something in this craziness that's happening. He has something for all of us. And you hear this all the time, but it's so true. God is doing this for a reason. And he's trying to teach us all something. Um I feel like I've said this a couple times to friends recently um, in different scenarios, but it's super comforting to know that during hard things, I can trust that God is not a bully and he's not just like sticking us in these hard situations because he's unkind and doesn't really care about us um, or he wants to watch us suffer because that brings him pleasure. It's like, it's not like that. He has such a perfect plan for this happening right now. Um, and I think we would just be doing a disservice as believers and as, you know, children of his, if we missed those things. Um, 
uh, yeah, so, essentially, I really just want us to remember, like, the right now, and not get wrapped up in what is so unknown right now, and that's kind of unfortunate, um, regardless if there's a pandemic or not, um, I think we all can put this into practice at all times of our lives, regardless if there's corona happening or we're just stressed out and worried about something that's happening in a couple months or, you know, the uncertainty and the unknown of the future. Um, I think it's just something that we can remember at all times is God's teaching us stuff right now and we have to be looking for it, um, which means not being wrapped up or anxious about the future. Um, so if you know this is something that's like hard for you and you're reg- regularly like stressed out about things or un- you know you're uncertain and you're worried um and it's making how like life right now really hard for you um you have to like take a hold of that and not let your mind go there and you have to counter something hard and something you know you struggle with with something that's going to bounce you to the other side which is the truth that God is with you and he's for you he has a perfect plan. Um, scripture says that his way is perfect. And that is like incredible. And his way right now is for us to be where we're at. Um, with camp being canceled. With school just changing in a lot of ways for you guys. Um, that's kind of crazy to think about that that way. His way is perfect. But... It's also super comforting to know that we don't have to stress about um, something going wrong. Like, he's got it taken care of, and um, that's been really helpful for me. So, I just encourage you guys, keep reading. Keep reading Psalms. There's so much in them. Um, Talk to us. Talk to all of your leaders as often as you can. Um, But be, be right now and take care of right now, which is relationships that you have with your family, your friends with us as your student ministry, um, and with God, like, he wants that, he wants to build that, um, so I hope that was helpful and encouraging, and, uh, love you guys.